Johnny R. And I'm Tommy Disco. And we're coming to you live on tape from Hardin, Kentucky for the first ever old school wrestling TV show. Our first match this evening is a singles match. Coming out to the ring, we have John Deere, a new competitor here at the old school wrestling. Disco, what's, uh, what's the story on Mr. Deere? Oh, the story on Mr. Deer is, uh, at least in his own mind, he's a sexy, sexy man. All his cousins think he's sexy, or so fat tells us. Yeah, they think he, his um, tractor is sexy. I'm not yeah. too sure about that. But uh, You fans can decide for yourself. It's accompanied by Big Daddy J. Looking mean and ugly in his own right. Because I don't think Big Daddy can look any other way but mean and ugly. Yeah, Big Daddy's uh, got him rounded in pretty good form. I think no matter who uh, gets thrown at him tonight, that uh, John Deere is going to put up quite an effort here. Uh, hopefully. Hopefully it won't be another washout like uh, some of the, the folks here at Old School Wrestling. I'd like to see someone hang around for a while. I'm sure you would too. So you're running out of people that actually like you. I don't know what you're talking about. I could be the mayor of Harden if I ran. I don't know about all that. Oh, come on. They love me here almost as much as they love John Deere. Uh, I think we should introduce our ref this evening. What's his name again? Uh, Fat. No, the ref. Oh, Jeff. Jeff. <laughs> Fat's the Gentlemen, ring Gentlemen, I'm Fat, there. and I'm here with John Deere, who is preparing to make his debut here in Old School Wrestling tonight. Uh, John, how have you? How do you feel? Are you ready for this match? I know you've trained hard. I know you put a lot of effort into this, and you think you're ready for tonight? Yeah, I think I am. Um ready been going for it. It's been ready for a while. I can't wait for my first opportunity. Okay, that sounds good. Um, Mr. Dotson, mystery man, that's going to be your punch tonight. Do you have any idea who that may be? Any clue at all? I got no clue, but I know that Dotson's a sneaky snake, so he'll get anyone. Okay, well, I want to thank you tonight. Now we're going to go back to live action. Master of the microphone. He, he's not going to have to talk his way through this match. What he does between the ropes that counts. Yeah, yeah. And tonight his partner is Mr. Dotson's mystery man. Mr. Dotson being a, a teacher at the local high school here in, in town. He's going to explain the ma tonight's match. Well, I don't know who this guy got, but it doesn't matter. I don't think he's got anything for John Deere. Uh, if John Deere displays as much wrestling ability as he does in Mike's skills, I think uh, we're in for a short, quick match there, Mr. Disco. Um, okay, I don't wrestle with microphones, neither does he. Oh, yeah. Come on, he pulled he in a saying, ringer. Oh, ringer <laughs> That's what? That's not fair. Oh, well, like you said, John Deere, he can handle it. He can bring it on, bring it out. Well, who's this? This is, this is this is him. I thought maybe they were going to bring someone out of the crowd and let him start slowly. I didn't think they were going to wrestle bad boy Phillips in his first match. Well, man. you know, they could have brought out John Caesar, which would have been a much easier match for him. Well, John Caesar, if he heard you say that, would probably take that head of yours and uh -huh. play kickball with it. Yeah. BBP as he's known around these hardened parts. He's a long time old school wrestler, been around since the very beginning. Old school wrestling has been going on here in Harden for over a year and a half. He's going to celebrate his two year anniversary in March. Uh, bad boy being accompanied to, with, to the ring by the love maker. Bad boy Phillips. Bad boy Phillips. Everybody loves bad, bad boy Phillips. Bad boy Phillips will be in a match later this evening, a heavyweight title match against Brandon Walker. Now Which there's there's a man for you, Brandon Walker. Please. It'll be short and quick, just like this match is. John Deere's gonna find out the hard way exactly what old school wrestling is about. Well, I don't think Bad Boy knows what he's getting himself into. Here. I think Bad Boy knows exactly what's going on. Now you'll see. What what's John Deere? Well besides just being able to beat him in the ring. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut. Downtown, I do apologize. I called him the love maker just a second ago. Oh, but I do no. think uh, downtown is, is much more classier and individual than uh, your boy uh, Big hey, Daddy over Big there. Daddy J gets results, and that's all that matters in this business. Yeah, but he doesn't look results. good. You know, he looks mean and intimidating, which is exactly how he should look. You get paid, don't you? These people pay you to give them good commentary, right? Is that it? Couldn't have a man of my talents volunteer for this uh -huh. job. Jeff's checking him out. We're going to ring the bell. What's the bad boy doing? He's probably Check sure which ID. direction he's going to run when uh, John Deere pounds him. Ha-ha! <laughs> Get it, bad boy. Making sure he's 18. 
You do know this is John Deere's first match this game, so I hope I'm you're not very expecting well aware big, this big results from it. You have to, you have to be a pretty, backs, backs in the corner. You're a pretty talented wrestler to uh, face Bad Boy in your first match. Obviously, my boy Deere here is up to it, though. He doesn't have any hair to grab. He's got whiskers on top of that head. What is he, 10? He's got 10 pounds of whip butt, and that's what he's got. Yeah, that's what he's got. He's about to have 240 pounds of BBP stomping all over him. Actually, he's a... He's like a tiger. He's backing into the thicket, trying to lure Bad Boy in. Then when he's in his natural habitat, he's going to spring out at him. He's going to grab him. Well, right now, he's throwing a tantrum tantrum like a three-year-old. It's his old-school wrestling, not old-school whining there, Mr. Deer. Perhaps you should get with the, uh, the match at hand. He shouldn't have to wrestle under these adverse circumstances. This crowd's oh. obviously pro-Bad Boy Phillips. Would you like to wrestle under these conditions? Hey, if I'm a wrestler, I like to wrestle under Look anything. Look at that. He grabbed his hair. He grabbed his hair and threw him down. He grabbed his scalp and, and planted him into the mat in a firm manner. A legal move, as Jeff even said. Didn't grab his hair. Look at that. You can't argue with the ref. Just wrestle, dear. And he'll lock up again. And once again, BVP puts him in the corner. Oh! And another chop. Look at that. That's a blatant Third. choke. He had him in a blatant choke. He was just holding him in the ring. He was just holding him in the corner there. Oh, and the big clothesline. John Deere getting a rude awakening here at Old School Wrestling. I can't believe Big Daddy's going to take much more of this. Big Daddy doesn't have much to say about this. I think BBP's a little bigger than Big Daddy. Look at that. The shove down the mat. Oh! If he doesn't stop grabbing his hair, I'm going to have to file an official complaint. Yeah, well, it's going to be handed down with a resounding no hair grab as they review the replay. And another chop. Here, the smack, skin on skin. He sets him up for the right again. Oh! Oh! And the body slam. Off the rope. Oh, what is that, ref? That's a oh, great piece of managing, is what that is. Kicking a man when he's down after you get your manager to help. Yeah, Big Daddy looked pretty good when he did that, didn't he? Mm -hmm. And another and a blatant chokehold. Talk about blatant chokeholds from me. People, what about oh, that? Oh, so it's okay. John Deere struggling to get on that top rope. Where does he think he's going? On top of Bad Boy's head, where he's going oh. to check that out. Big frog splash. Not a frog splash. It's a splash. I don't know what that was. Oh, and the boot to the gut. Oh, and a fist. Maybe it was a deer splash. You don't have to say deer splash. Hmm. Deer splash? If you can have a frog splash, why can't you have a deer splash? Deer's going water. And Bad Boy whips him into the corner again. Oh! That had to... Hurt. I'd say so. Oh, sure yeah. gonna be oh, and Bad Boy setting him up for the spear. Oh, when he nails it. That's gonna do it, folks. Ah, short and sweet. You have to give it to John Deere. He can really take a beating. Not much else he can take. I told that. you he probably didn't have it for his first match. But he'll, he'll Is he be saving it next for the next time, time he comes he's back? Saving, he's saving for next time. Right. Drag his carcass out of there. Mr. Dotson, get your uh, young friend up out of there. Bad boy makes his way triumphantly out. Oh, and a push. Oh, Jeff and then break it up. What's going on here? Dotson and Deer having some choice words with each other after the match. What's he supposed to do? Shake his hand, pat him on the rear end, say thanks for getting my butt kicked. Hey, Dotson had a lot to do with Deer's uh, appearance here. <laughs> Looks like we got a match already set up for the next show, ladies and gentlemen. Bad Boy Phillips versus John Deere and a mystery man. 
I'll tell you this, the mystery man ain't gonna be your mama. It's gonna be somebody pretty tough. Uh -huh. so I don't think Bad Boy knows what he's getting himself into. I think all. Bad Boy has seen the toughest around. As you heard, he's bad to the bone. Oh, I've heard he's always bad to the uh -huh. bone. He'll have to be to take on John Deere plus someone yeah, else. Well, John Deere's looking like that. John Deere almost beat him this time by himself. Imagine if he had a little help. Mm -hmm. Just away. Just away. All right, our next match here at Old School Wrestling is going to be Von Keller. Now, here's a man for you. This man can bench press a small compact car. I will say this much. He, he is a large, large pound of human being. And he is accompanied by the one and only Love Maker. Yes, the Love Maker and his red, white, and blue patriotic uh, suit this evening. Von Keller, straight out of Germany, Deutschland, as he likes to refer himself. Really doesn't appeal well to the crowd here. I don't That's think because folks people, at Harden, people here in Harden don't appreciate true greatness, obviously. Well, they appreciate Bad Boy Phillips, and I think that's you know, about as great as it's going to get as that last match we just saw in the crew. Chance of USA from the crowd. You know, patriotism here in Harden. Welcoming our foreign friend here to a was going to be a large beatdown by our friend Tony Rage. Well, I think uh, Tony Rage is about to be introduced to a little German hospitality. Mm -hmm. I hope he brought his uh, German chocolate I think, cake. I, th I think he's got something to say. And he speaks the truth, too. He's very talking honest. bad about fat. That is a very good announcer. I think they should have an imported German announcer for his match. So. Mm -hmm. He shouldn't have to have an American announcer's match. Yeah, we're going to find a lot of Germans out here in Harden. Oh. <laughs> and he's a comedian. This is great. There's no need for insults. He's a guest out here. Well, that's humor. Just because you've got thin skin. Oh. Yeah, what's wrong with Harden there, buddy? We don't have any good German restaurants. Oh, the shed. The shed is a fine, fine cafeteria you saw last night. Evening dinner. Sometimes they have country music playing on a lot of evenings. Where can he go and get his crowd in Wiener Schnitzel Row? Hey, he can go home. That's where he can go. Instead of taking up valuable time with obvious lack of mic skills. Look at him. He's such an eloquent speaker. He's just going over your head. He's out there posing. He can pose all you want. See? He's a humanitarian, too. Yeah. Very altruistic, I think. Oh, I don't believe this. He's so generous. Generous. Promoting physical fitness among his fellow wrestlers. I bet he's going to sing a little song after the match. Well, I can only wait for that. It's true. Well, well, maybe every now and then Tony Rage likes to open a book and work on his... Uh, education a little more than his body. I'm not even going to justify that with a response. <laughs> Maybe if Von Keller took the time to learn a little English, he would be a little better receptive. His English is wonderful. Bring out my meat? He has near flawless English. What is that? Bring out my meat? He's hungry. He's hungry for a good workout. He's going to take out his frustrations on Mr. Rage. <laughs> oh, wow. Is that it? This Tony Rage, the true American hero, comes out to the ring. Crowd starts. The usual clap and chant for him. And here he is, Tony Rage with downtown Frankie Brown. Yeah, your boy your boy uh, Von Keller got lucky last show. He beat on uh He got lucky he didn't Tony kill him Ray. by mistake. He got lucky that Tony let him off with such an easy, easy victory. This week, though, he's out to show him something different. And this is 
Tony brought his A game with him this week, or this guy. Yeah, I think Von Keller is going to show Mr. Rage his own blood. what's going to happen. Uh -huh. Tony always likes to do it when he comes in. Make sure he greets all the fans. Thank them for supporting him. I think uh, Keller could take a note here, too. Keller doesn't need to kowtow with the locals. When you're as talented as he is, your mere presence is enough. Where's the shovel? Might, might, might thicken him. For Southern oh, these people don't know what they're talking about. Well, they're about to see an excellent example of why Tony Rage is the thunder from down under. Well, he'll Southern. be down under, all right. I give him about three seconds here, but he's staring up at the wides. Well, uh, well Jeff, you be sure you check, check in for illegal, illegal objects. You never know about them foreign guys. With all their attitude and Von Keller's a man of, of honor and dignity, mm -hmm. obviously two things you wouldn't know anything about. He doesn't have to wear big baggy pants so he can hide all of his weapons in there. Oh, that is. Look at those boots. You think those are anything except a sheath for all of his knives? Mm-hmm. No, no. Oh, he can spell. I'm impressed. Mm -hmm. Spells the, the 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 word that look at this. Von Keller leaving the ring. See, Where, where's your hero now? Where's your, See, they've heard his feelings guy? now. Oh, tearing up fan signs. He's just going to walk out. See, he's not even man enough to face him in the match. Can't handle the heat. Get out of the country. Just because he's beneath him. Oh, where's he going to go? Is he going to go back with all his other friends in the locker room? They don't like him either. Everyone loves him in the locker room. I, I think he was voted the most popular wrestler before the show. Uh-huh. I think you got it wrong there, Mr. Tony. Well, if Von Keller's not challenging Germany, Germany, every time that Tommy Ray, Tony Rage gets in well, He's not in Germany. If he were in Germany, I, I, that would be perfectly acceptable. But right now, he's in Hardin, Kentucky, and he needs to get in the ring so he can take his beat down like a man. I try to be tolerant of all different nationalities and creeds and races. Oh, and, and so do we, but, you know, do unto others. He came out here insulting us. Finally, Lock they up. shut up Finally. so we get to see some real wrestling. Finally, Von Keller manages to get in the ring. Look at this. Von Keller's going to toy with him. The crash. Tony, 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 Tony. Notice how they're not saying Keller, Keller, Keller. Lock up again. Look at that. Couldn't handle him. Pushed him off. See what he hot? Is he fanning himself? Getting the fans to to get into the match, trying to get Von Keller a little psych out. Yeah, what's Von Keller psyching out? Once again, Von Keller pushes out. Can't. can't well, Von Keller's trying to wrestle, man. and Tony Rage wants to give him a hug. Apparently, it's some kind of hero worship thing. Uh, I think it's the, it's the natural course of the beginning of a match that you know, it's a struggle for superior strength, which obviously Tony has over over Von Keller in this game. You know, stopping to take the water. He's already dehydrated. Next, he's, next, the next is solely going to hit the mat. He's and just one, having two, a nice, three. refreshing beverage in the corner with a love maker. Would you'd want to hang out and talk to a love maker in the middle of the match too if he was your manager? But he wouldn't be your manager because he knows better. Well, right now, it's looking like he needs to get no, someone who knows better needs to start wrestling and get his guy back in the match. Von Keller was trying to, but Tony keeps wanting to wave to the crowd. Yeah, I, I guess his girlfriend's here tonight. <laughs> nice. Not, not, nice, nice, nice vocabulary there, Von Keller. A bunch of morons. Not, not everything's a direct guy. translation from German to American. Where did they find this guy? Do you know how to say moron in German? No, but I, I didn't. 
No. See, I told you. Oh, oh. Show them up. Miss clothesline there. Oh, look at that. Like butter. Butter. Tony, 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 Tony. Keller, Keller. Yeah, he's got it all up there. See, Tony spends more time in the library than in the gym. Lifting them weights. His mind is chiseled. Well, that may be the case, but... Uh, maybe, maybe Tony should have brought Ron Keller out a free seven-day pass to the library. The chilled uh, arm muscles of... Uh, chiseled arm muscles of Ron Keller here are about to uh, take Mr. Rage behind the woodshed. Oh, and a uh, headlock. Oh, and working it in. Listen to Von Keller squeal like a little girl. He's just giving him a false sense uh, of superiority. Yeah, he's about to take care the of the rake on the eye on his back. Other, uh, yeah. the sheer power, the strength of Tony Rage. Uh, Von Keller's about call to him use, Rage for He's no about to use Rage's game. momentum against him. Mm -hmm. oh, oh. Gut blow. That Look at this. Good. Look at this. It's all part of the great master plan. Oh, and a shoulder block. <laughs> Look at the superior athletic ability of Von Keller. Poses for the crowd. Oh! This is clothesline. Get your head back in the match there, Von Keller. Oh, and a slam. Headbutt. And Von Keller leaves. He's that just got to reassess a things. A slam and a headlock. He's just, he's just, uh, he's going to talk to the love maker and they're going to devise a new strategy. Strategy? Strategy. Yeah, I know that has more than one syllable, so you probably don't know what it means. But yeah, well, uh, I think the strategy should be getting in the ring and wrestling. And he's making that. sure that he hasn't cut his uh, attractive German features. You know, in his spare time, uh, he's a model in Germany when he's not wrestling. Well, what's he a model for? A sauerkraut? See the sauerkraut? Maybe he's a clog model. Right? Clog model? Yeah. And uh, maybe some. Well, obviously, he's not a spokes model. So I don't think anyone would understand a word he's saying. He speaks wonderful German. You'd be very surprised. Mm -hmm. Hey, look at this. Look at this. Tony Rage trying to go over and illegally hit him while he's trying to discuss things with his manager. He's trying to get him back in the room. There's a 10 count for a reason. You have 10 seconds to get back into the room. Doesn't mean he has to take it all. And he came back in at seven. But what a gentleman. USA. County Ray. Take a beating like a man, Von Keller. Another lock up. Oh. And then he goes for the ride. Oh, and what was that? An illegal hit by the love maker. Oh. It looked like he slipped to me, actually. If he'd be more careful, it wouldn't happen. It's like a cane in the back. What are you talking Grabbing about? Grabbing him by the hair again. Putting him there. Oh, and look at this. A blatant. With holding him with the He's helping him off the rope. The He's helping well, him off the rope. Look. Oh, the killer He's him trying to out. lift him off the rope with his cane. Well, it's taking him an awfully long time. It's the only way Von Keller can win. You don't see you don't see Tony Rage out there with, with his manager being all illegal. And I, I don't think anything illegal has happened in this match. I don't know what match you've been watching. I've been watching this fine display of Von Keller's athletic prowess. Now, this is how you... The headlock. Look at this. Oh, Look at this takedown. Take that was beautiful. Perfectly executed. Now, what are you going to do, Tony? What oh, you going to do? Oh, reversal on a pin. Two. Okay. And one count. He's standing up for big man. Ron Keller working on that arm. He's punishing him. Oh, what a takedown. See, now he's isolating working a specific area of the body, and he's going to work on this, and he turns that arm into a bloody stump. Oh, look at that. One finger at a time. That's how we do things in Germany. Germany's a place I definitely don't want to be. This is how they're going to treat everyone. Look at that. That's not necessary. That is not necessary. He's where men are men and women play rugby. He's working on that shoulder. 
You know, Von Keller is a fine, fine technical wrestler. And grabbing the rope, well, I take that back. Pardon me. Actually, I think it's he has a cramp, and it looks like the love maker's helping to stretch the muscle out. Managers perform many tasks in the course of a match. Mm -hmm. Cheating doesn't happen to be one of those that are... I don't know where this... Look at that. Look at that. His poor arm keeps cramping up. We're, we're lucky he hasn't quit the match. Well, maybe he should stretch before he comes out to the ring. Shows you the determination of Von Keller to fight through a cramp and still try to entertain the crowd. Oh, and, and the crowd sounds entertained as he's just laying on Tony Reigns. Doesn't even give him the chance to wrestle. I'm really surprised that Tony hasn't tapped out by now. That's a pretty painful move. Well, I'm sure it's excruciating, but you underestimate the will of Tony. He is he is he is a strong, strong individual. And he will take a lot. Oh, and he finally, finally the ref catches on. He, what Von Keller? He's just trying to limber up for the rest of the match. Uh -huh. Well he's gonna need it. See, actually in a way he's probably stretched out Tony's arm as well, so he's done him a favor. Now we're ready to go back to action. He's just going to beat on him for a while in the corner. He needs to open that fist up. He's going to hit him. Look at that. One, two, three. Once again, Jeff the ref. So he works on the knee. Interrupting a perfectly legal hold. Turn to Rage in the corner. Oh! Rage moves out real quick. Kick. And a headbutt. Both men seem to be a little wobbly right now. Oh, a low blow. Oh, Shut up! Come on, you're in his Get in the match. Von Keller got the match well in hand. He stop John at the fans. He's just trying to entertain. He's going to go for style points here at the end. I don't know. Sounds like a big man to get up. Oh, he can't even do it. He has to get him on his side. How's that for the power of the That's Von what Keller? he meant to do. That, that was the rolling German knee toss. The rolling German knee toss. It's a new move that he's uh, invented. See, there's a variation. Neck toss. That's an actual kind of move. <sighs> you just now don't know choking him. Brilliant. He's not choking him. It's a perfectly legal move. hold. What is this? Another submission move by Von Keller. He's putting a lot of pressure on that arm. Looks like a variation of the abdominal stretch. Tony's had a lot of problems with his shoulders after the last couple of matches with Von Keller. Von Keller using that to his man's and now the slaps. Just in Is that really necessary? This isn't finger painting, Johnny. This is a wrestling no, There's no style points for embarrassing people in the ring. I mean, it's, it's obvious he has the match in hand at this point in time. I think that, you know, slapping the man when he's down is you know, pretty, pretty, pretty unruly. He, he covers his face with his shirt. If you can't take the abuse, then you shouldn't get into the ring. Well, I don't see you getting out there in the ring anytime soon there, Disco. <laughs> it's because I wouldn't want to hurt these wrestlers. I'm sure they're very thankful for that as well. Two count by Von Keller. Just kind of toying with Tony right now. Yeah, I bet Tony's regretting his decision to ever even get in the ring with Von Keller. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. Oh, and a kick. And a clothesline. Von Keller's reeling now. Another clothesline. He'll have momentum swift. Wow, if he pulls out the big boot, he'll have all of Hulk Hogan's repertoire down. Or the elbow. Ron Keller about to mount the final offensive here. Oh! I don't think that was part of the plan. Ron Keller into the corner. Lures him oh. into the corner. Look, Look at that. Wally. Oh! oh and pin. Quick pin. Two. Three. Oh. I told you Von Keller would make quick work of Tony Rage. Even with all the mass interference from the referee, and the hostile crowd, I'm your complete sure. lack of appreciation for his abilities. I'm sure Lovemaker's uh, interference had nothing to do I with that. I didn't see Lovemaker that, interfere at all. Lovemaker's a good manager. Uh -huh.
I, I'm sure we can at least agree on this disco is going to be a very fun, very intense, very hurtful match. Is that not safe? Oh, uh, I, th I think the pain they feel is not going to be figurative. Uh, this this match is going to be, I think, quite a match. Quite quite a match. I wouldn't want to miss it. It's going to have a 30 minute time limit. I'm back here backstage with uh, just Ricky and Kryptonite Kid. Uh, getting ready for their grudge match here at Old School Wrestling against uh, New Breed with a, a new interesting member uh, this evening thrown at you all for a, a three-way. Any any thoughts about tonight's match and the new member? All I got to say is I hope he doesn't let us. I didn't, didn't, forgot to mention that during our interview, the new breed and Kalo interrupted and attacked Ricky and Kryptonite Kid while they were undermanned. Alex Vest still hadn't arrived to the arena yet. Ricky will learn not to speak out of turn next time. I think during the interview, Ricky had every right to speak and, and think that he was not going to have to yeah. worry. I've about got no beef with Ricky. I'm just saying you shouldn't fight other people's battles for him. You should hey, just, just stay out of it, Johnny. I'm just trying to you know, state the facts of what you know the audience at home can obviously see was was just a, a blatant uh, disregard for backstage safety. I mean, did you see that? I mean, and then, oh, I forgot. I, 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 mean, I, I could have It's like a knitting back circle there. backstage. Yeah, I forgot all the tea and crumpets. Yeah, here they are, Kryptonite Kid and Just Ricky coming out with Miss Ronda. This is a very calculated, devastating tag team. And again, the crowd here just will not respect the fact that Just Ricky is Just Ricky. Well, he's not he the, used dragon. To be the dragon. Well, he's no longer the dragon. Well, apparently the fans like the dragon a lot better than this Just Ricky character. Well, he can be Just Ricky, but he's still always going to be the dragon. Well, if you used to be Boy George, would you like it if I called you Boy George now? But I wasn't Boy George. But if you were, hypothetically. I think you should respect a man's right to change his name. If I want to change my name to the fabulous Lulu, then I should be able to do that. Not that I want to. Well, and you should, and we will make fun of you jokes. You shouldn't get upset if people made fun of you because you used to be disco. There's nothing wrong with disco. There are a lot of discos what? in the United States. There's really nothing wrong with disco. Just because of that. Well, let's just uh, pick up this fat here and so I can introduce... Uh, Kryptonite Kids, a longtime member of Old School Wrestling, came through the training program here. He's got some nice aerial maneuvers. And so does Just Ricky, surprisingly, for a bigger guy. Just Ricky has a dragon with his from the mean arms. streets of Los Angeles. Just Ricky. He needs to control his temper. He just only. has a competitive edge. Mm -hmm. Here comes the third member of their tag team. Where was he earlier? Where was he when the beatdown happened is what I want to know. I think all will be revealed here very soon. Big guy, not wasting any words on this young punk. Not that I think that even if he was here, that, that they still deserve the the run in by the new breed. Well, it looks like he's about to be shown the air of his ways. This is how we do it on the mean streets of L.A. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, and a headbutt, my kid. On top of the power center. Yeah, you don't want to mess with these guys. He's not the dragon anymore. Dragon, 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 dragon. You'd probably boo Elvis, wouldn't you? If he changed his name. He's got crazy guy. He's gonna be their new tag team partner. Alex Bush. Oh, now this guy's got some issues. I think he's got a few toys in his attic. Walks around with the with the best cola, 12 pack. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what kind of relationship he has with the 12 no, pack. Still kind of. I've heard they're just friends, but yeah, I've I've tried to ask him about it every now and then, but he's. He's Demon. really a loser. That was a vicious attack earlier on uh, Kryptonite Kid and Just Ricky. Yeah. First of all, don't worry about any attacks. Because like I told you people two weeks ago, we had a new member. He's right here tonight. We've been beating you boys down for two weeks. Tonight ain't going to be any different, boys. So just get ready. Let's go. Come back. Go get him, guys. Always making friends, Johnny. Always making friends. Hey, I'm just trying to conduct an interview, and that was that was just uncalled for back in the end. Well, the you corner. should get out of their way. Well, they're, Some people they're, need more personal area than others do. They're lucky they caught me off guard, otherwise. Because <laughs> you look like you were about to retaliate. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> with the cameras rolling, I didn't, want, I didn't want to embarrass them for their match. They're coming to the ring by the love maker. I do like that suit, one major brand. Very nice. Uh, here's another fine, fine tag team. The new breed. They've got their new member, Kalo. They're going to be even more devastating as a trio than they were as just two people. Well, I don't really have any favorites here with this match. Look at that John Cena. Always posing for the, for yeah. the audience and the cameras. It's going to be hard for me to pick sides here. These are, these are two of my favorite tag teams in old school wrestling. I'm just going to have to sit back and uh, enjoy the show. And what a show I'm sure it'll be. And the playboys and model posing out there. I don't even know if any wrestling is going to go on. I don't know what you'll do. There are no snow lily white dashing good no. guys riding on white horses for you to cheer for in this you match. You no, no technically talented and superb wrestlers that that care about their art and their craft enough to... You won't find many show. more technically talented wrestlers than you're going to find in this ring. Um, we got the crazy goon bunch on one side and the pretty boy poser squad on the other side. Everybody looks pretty when they're getting the one, two, three. Mm -hmm. At least the crowd can appreciate the high-flying, spectacular style d one day. He is, a, he is a quite talented high-flyer. Well, I'm not sure about this Kalo guy. It remains to be seen uh, what his future holds in the old school wrestling. Well, if he's running with the new breed, he's got to be good. Another new member of the old school wrestling family. The new breed is a member of, our mem are all members of the family. The evil organization here at the old evil. Well, they're full of miscreants and ruffians and an all-around bad-natured individuals. So yeah, evil. They're full of career-minded professional wrestlers who want to excel uh, at their chosen profession by any means necessary, by any legal means necessary. Another pose by John Caesar after throwing Vest into the corner. I'm telling you, Vest isn't someone I'd like to get worked up and on the bad side. Because I don't think he, he reached, he's going to reach a point where he doesn't care. And that's when he's going to be the most dangerous. Yeah, at least he'll always have a career as a, a crazy Take line tamer. Vest right on that arm. Oh, and back right by Caesar. It's over. The match just started. And Caesar never at a loss for a confidence. 
see how far he's come, he gets in and the best comes roaring back to life. Just the ref. Invest the way to qualify in this oh, match. And he may, toss. may be regretting the decision to even take part in this particular contest. I don't think Jeff takes if it has any regrets about any match. You know. Oh, everybody said it. Nothing uh, subtle about John Caesar's style. Burning off the ropes. Oh, and a clothesline by Ricky. And there's the great the tag team dragon. mentality of just Ricky. Just Ricky knows always when to make his presence felt in a match. Drop kick on season. The quick pin. And two. It's not often you get to see two athletes the caliber of just Ricky and John Caesar in the ring together. I hope you appreciate what you're being treated to. I got my notepad out and I'm, I'm writing furiously, let me tell you. Oh, knee. Knee by Caesar. Excellent move, I must say. Using the ropes as advantage. And the tag on Kalo. <laughs> Just slams him down like yesterday's garbage. Kalo off the ropes. Is about. Oh! Big old leg drop by. Gonna display some power now. Look at that. Wow. Pretty impressive. impressive. Kalo holding the bigger man up there for. Nice five count. Just rip you off the ropes. There's a nice abdominal wow. stretch. Oh, and and again using great tag team did, wrestling. Did I, did I mention Evil? See, a, a true good and righteous person, and, and and one that is just in the wrestling world and, and cares about things fair, would never stoop to such low and demeaning circumstances to win any match. Well, when you find one, be sure to let me know. I'd like to meet him. <laughs> Bad Boy Phillips, Southern Pride, Tony Ray, Shades of Grey, my oh. friend. Shades of Grey. Oh, and. A and again, and a hair pull by the new Devon breed displaying all the down. nuances of championship caliber tag team tag. wrestlers. Tag on Devon. Devon in the ring. Working Ricky back in the corner. Get set up for the the double. Well, from Ricky, right back to him. On with Ricky off the ropes. And slam. A quick pin. One and a two. Oh, interference by a Night Kid. I'll tell you what, at least the at least cheaters are wrestling each other this time because they're they're all doing it. What is all this cheater stuff? Everybody's just trying to win the match. The match is about to be over. It's just when he gets his head bounced off the ring. The match was about to get over. Don't see Before any cheating. Kid comes in. I just see a lot of zest and zeal for competition. <laughs> Oh, there's a sky in your world, this guy. Blue. Okay, we're back in. Ricky going for a head and a reversal. Oh, and a big clothesline by Ricky. Nice. That's going to teach Kalo a lesson. And an elbow. Welcome to old school. The w Tag on Kryptonite Kid. Our kids right. got moves to spare. Nice take there. We'll probably see him go aerial Another here pretty slam. soon. Another slam. And a quick pin. I don't think that's going to do it. No hook of the leg. That's going to not generally give you the, the, the fall. Kryptonite Kid, while he has been in old school wrestling for a while, he's still young. He has a long way to go. Oh, and a big clothesline. Yep, he's a new breed member. Who's in already? One of the more flamboyant factions in old school wrestling. See, so looks like he's been watching the great Von Keller. Yeah, how to embarrass your opponent without actually wrestling. That's an effective wrestling move. Just as he can get it. Maybe he can take it. Caleb back in the corner. Oh! Quick count, two, and Caesar interrupts. The count once again. Both men look hurt now. 
kid makes a tag. So we throw a Kalo. Best comes back in. These guys are gonna have trouble getting out of bed in the morning. Oh, that's going for the ride. I don't think Vest was all prepared for this match. Kind of just got thrown in at the last second. Yeah, but uh, you know, Vest isn't going to back down up. from any kind of a competition. He's too insane to probably really think about it. I wonder if he actually feels pain. I don't think so. I think Zero pain to him is just a word. Tag in with Caesar. Kick to the gut. Another kick to the gut. Caesar taking Vest. Or another slam. Vest is the one that's going to be feeling it in the morning. A two count. Well, Vest has taken his share of abuse in this match, but really everyone he's gotten into the rings has uh, banged around quite a bit. Vest with a duck. Oh, and a kick. Oh, went easy. Nice. Vest with finds some energy. Kicking the gut. Nice leg drop by Vest. Turning things around here. This could be it. No. It's too count. Just Ricky back in. Ooh. Oh, again with the dragon. Could they please let it go? He's just Ricky. Man, that's so much better than that. Ricky. Ricky. There's Ricky slamming in the corner there. Oh, look at that. Love Maker getting his jabs in, of course. Well, Maker's trying the to instruct his wrestlers. Time. You don't see Big Daddy over there doing anything. But oh, what? Two, once, two matches ago, you're, you're calling Big Daddy everything but the junkyard dog. Well, now he's behaving himself. Apparently, he, he was listening to me when, when during the first match and understands the error of his ways. Well, I'm sure that's one of his things to do daily. Get up, brush teeth, listen to the dribblings of Johnny R. Hey, you know... Kalo with a nice elbow to the stern. Send Kalo to the mat. And Kalo going for the ride. Oh! Elbow back at him. It's like the momentum has shifted it once again back to. Oh! A nice drop here, Barry. Send him for a ride one more time. Oh, and this time a knee to the face. He's catching some air off for a big guy. Kalo is stealing the hurt. Probably Miss Rhonda distracting the ref. Oh, and here he is, back to his old tricks. Oh, and now they go out of each other. Old oh, tricks. They're just trying to win the match. One, two. Look at that. Good solid wrestling match there. You want to call it that? You could have saved us all the trouble and just told us what was going to happen. We're all going to cheat, and then then uh, Ricky's going to win. Where is this cheating? I don't I don't I don't see where the cheating is going. Well, we're from. done with the show. I'll I'll, I'll give you a, a a copy. We'll send you a copy of the tape. And, uh, the only cheating I've seen is when Bad Boy kept grabbing John Deere's hair and illegally choking him into the corner. Other than that, I haven't seen any cheating. Other online. than that. Well, we're about to see DDP again. Maybe, uh, maybe this time uh, he'll, he'll not grab the luscious hair of uh, the person he's going against, Brandon Walker. Brandon Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt Walker. Walker. I think we better tune into this match that just started. <laughs> you want to hear it? Here it is. BBP. BBP. See the taunts of taunts of the crowd are just fuel. For the passion inside Brandon Walker. Mm -hmm. Brandon Walker. Brandon Pookie Walker. Pookie Bear. Pookie Bear. The only a true American hero would be secure enough in his wrestling ability to have a, a, a nickname such as Pookie Bear. I'm not even going to comment. Exactly. That's why we don't call him Brandon Pookie Bear Walker. Well, that would be kind of silly. Yes, we want you to wrestle. That would be a grand thing. No, we no, <laughs> no, we didn't pay money to see you wrestle. I did. I'd pay double what I paid to see him wrestle. Well, I'd pay triple what I paid to see BBP wrestle. As the two gentlemen lock up here in the middle of the ring. 
I'm sure you can go to the hospital after this match. Maybe BBP will show you some submission holds. Like the one he's going to submit to in this match. Mm-hmm. Oh, when he got shoulder into the gut by. Oh, and an eye rake and a headbutt. These are all legal wrestling moves. These poses for the cameras. Kind of straight on the match there, Brandon. Setting you up right. Oh, and the clothesline out of the ring. Maybe his hair got in the way. Well, I just think Bad Boy knows he can't take him inside the ring, so he has to spell it and use his cheating tactics that is not driving the ring post. That was just there and, and seemed like a good kind of thing to do. No, he's choking him. He's choking him. He's helping him dislodge a piece of food that happened to be in his mouth and it stuck in his throat. I can't believe they're putting an athlete of Brandon's quality in jeopardy of making him face a common brawler like Bad Boy Phillips. Common brawl. Bad Boy Phillips is what wrestling needs to be, unlike Brandon Walker. We so don't need to be like Brandon Walker. We wrestling like needs Brad to pick Walker. up a wooden post and ram it into someone's back and then choke them? <sighs> no, but certain situations... Oh, 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 there's a, there's a manly American patriotic move, kicking someone in the groin area. It's part of the wrestling. They're, they're, these guys are, are consummate professionals, nothing they haven't seen or felt before. Look at Brandon cowering down as he lays the hammer down. Nyrick with in a poke. You live on the river of denial. BP can't even see swinging at Jeff and a headbutt. That's a legal move. The only one that Brandon's had this entire night. And again, Brandon taking time out to entertain his many fans in the crowd. You can hear a faint chance of thunderbolt. I think if you listen carefully. Mm-hmm. I seem to be missing those. Anyway. Another hit to the fist to the guts by fist to the guts. Fist to the, fist to the gut. BP just hammering down on Brandon. Should be singing for the ride. Then down to the mat. Brandon obviously reeling from that blow. It's a quick two count. Another blatant chokehold. There's no choking there. It's an illegal move. Just working on them shoulder blades. Now you missed the choke part. Mm. Oh, there's another one. See, every time he chokes him, Jeff the ref gets in the way. Oh, so it's a conspiracy. Is that it, Mr. Oliver Stone? Everyone is against Brandon Walker. I'm saying that. He does nothing to do to cause it to rain on himself, does he? Just tries to entertain as Except many, that many choke fans. Hold right there. That's not a choke. That's a perfectly legal submission move. Maybe if he go for light, only switches it on him. Ran up and down, coming hard on the on the mat. That had to be jarring. Oh, and an elbow drop. BP for the pin and a two. What's this? Ha ah, ha! This this the cerebral wrestling ability of Brandon Walker is the knowledge to put his foot on the rope. He goes to work on his ankle. Brandon yeah. Walker will never submit. Uh, he may want to look into it, otherwise damage to that hamstring and that ankle could be severe enough to sit him out of old school wrestling. Although future generations of little thunderbolts may be put in jeopardy if he stays in this hole much longer. I don't think that... He, he is capable of getting out of this. Uh, oh, look oh. at that fine display of technical wrestling. BP drops the ground. And the elbow from Brandon. Another legal move. Brandon off the hit. John at the ref. I'll tell you what, none of these family guys can really stay out of the ref's, ref's way or stop posing five seconds to actually have some wrestling. They just can't stand for the blatant favoritism that he plays towards people like BBP. Mm -hmm. Oh, and BVP setting him up. Brandon reaching for the rope. And BVP takes him down. One and two. Oh, and a kick out. Both men up. BVP ducking the blow. And a clothesline by BVP. Sending Brandon down to the mat and a cover. One and two. That could be it. Oh, and Brandon with the kick out. BVP going back with a headlock. Your uh, heavyweight champion is, hasn't been doing too well right now. He's pacing himself throughout the course of the match. He's trying not to blow his wad early. He's conserving energy. Mm -hmm. He'll be fresh at the end of the match. Fresh at the end of the match. Right off it. 
Looks like he's fresh into the mat. The BVP sets him up for the spear. Brandon Days not knowing what's going on. Sets him up and oh! Brandon steps out of the way and BVP flies into the, to the turnbuckle. Saw that coming a mile away. Perhaps it was a little bit delayed, but... You know, BVP is winded from the massive beatdown that he is handing out. You know, you'd be winded too if you, all you did was beat on someone for a good 5-10 minutes. Hopefully he's maybe Brandon will great just with another dance. You can only hope. Everyone can get their flash photography ready. Oh, look at this. Where's this? He's sneaking around. Again, he's using that noggin. Oh! The intellectual. Fish shot to the head. Now Wrestling. another choke on the outside. That's not a choke. That's a chest grab. Mm. Oh, and BP goes flying into the, into the steel post. That had to hurt. Brandon raking the eyes once again. Hammering down with the kick. Knocking BVP to the ground. Oh, and 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 how's this for? He's stretching Stepping his arms. Chair shot BVP's head. Oh, it was okay for him to get choked and to get hit with a wooden post. But, but I think a wooden post is a little bit different than a metal chair. You know, that well, what some, that's going to hurt BVP? That could, that could cause some serious brain injuries. You could bust cinder blocks on Bad Boy's Coconut and it wouldn't hurt him. Oh, finally, another dance. Just hurry up. I'm going to be BVP. What is, it? what is this? Who is this? What the? the garage door open. What? Who is that masked man? Got on a Harley. I don't know, but he looks he comes right at Brandon Walker. Oh, here come the new breed. BP taking it out on Brandon. Who is this Brandon's bodyguard? I don't know, but he's a force. Just knocking bodies across the ring. Kicking John Caesar. Come back for Devon. Looks strangely right, familiar. Taking it out Brandon. Can't quite place where I've seen him before. I've never seen him before. It's the first time. We've well, seen him before. He just showed up on a motorcycle. Hmm. I know of another old school wrestler who drives a motorcycle. Has long dark hair. Who? Who? And wears a mask? No, I don't know any to wear a mask. Well, then I don't see how you could recognize anybody. Just saying a certain Mr. Jack Diamond has several hobbies in common, apparently, with this mask man. Oh, and, and Including and the propensity to cheat is. in matches. Oh, mm-hmm. Special friends. Uh, Jack Diamond is is friends to all. 
than that would be any kind of friend. Just because you are too uptight to want to share in, in you know, friendship with people outside of the family. I have friends. I have lots oh. of friends. Uh -huh. Lots of friends. Is this, and is this, friends. Friends. this is one of them. Big Daddy J, Kryptonite Kid, has a match with Harley Davidson tonight. Harley Davidson made quite a splash last week. Uh, can your man handle it? Hey, he'll take a splash tonight, too. I mean, I don't know where this goof come from. Hey, I like the bike he rode in on, but that's the only thing I like about that turkey. As far as tonight, the kid, he's taking him, man. Because the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Dynamite comes in small packages. That's what I got here. Back to live action. Can Kryptonite Kid speak? He can. Is he, does he, is he capable of speaking? It's just that Big Daddy Jay's never at a loss for words, so. Never for a loss for cheating either. Coming down with that nice stick once again. He's always trying to lend a helping hand. Well, I don't know if you've seen uh, Harley in the workout area uh, at all this week here at Old School Wrestling, but he's looking pretty impressive, and I don't think Kryptonite Kid, especially after his you know, obvious injury in the last match, is ready to handle it. So out he comes. I'll have that to is admit, a force. Kryptonite Kid probably uh, facing an uphill battle in this match. I'd say it's going to be ended quickly in some sort of brutal fashion. As when I got to talk to Harley earlier, it didn't sound like he messed around. Johnny R backstage with Harley Davidson. Harley, that was a spectacular entrance you had on your first night at Old School Wrestling last show. Tonight you're booked against Kryptonite Kid with Big Daddy J and in your first official match here. Any thoughts on tonight's match? What, why are you here? What, what, what is it you're here for? Well, it's like this. A good friend of mine and all the fans out here know a guy by Jack Dom. Remember Jack? Spend well, it. he gave me a phone call about probably a month ago saying he ran into a little problem down here with this faction called the family. Well, I decided to get on my hog ride down here and just to give Brandon one word of advice. He's living in a fantasy world. Welcome to my nightmare. Sounds like a nightmare I don't want to be having in and the future. As far as this kryptonite kid, yes. dynamite comes in small packages. Well, this is kryptonite. He's going down. Strong words from a big man. Back to live action. You hear that, Disco? Kryptonite. He's got the cure for the Kryptonite kid, it looks like. It's like we'll super, super boy may be going down in this match. We'll see. We'll see. Big Daddy J always has a point. Mm -hmm. This is uh, Harley Davidson's first match out here in uh, Harden Old School Wrestling. Although I'm sure he won't find it hard finding his way around the ring. Mm -hmm. Oh, and a brutal clothesline starts off this match. Davis is setting him up. Oh. Tossed him off the rope there in a, in that's how odd fashion. In Sturgis. A choke hold by Harley. I'll, I'll, give, I'll give Harley this much. He, he doesn't play by the rules all the time, but he, he does get results. And, and he he fights on the side of right. Maybe not with, you know, the same way that you know, BBP does, who's, you know, pure and, and, and good. But, you know, Harley is... Obvious force there. Oh, his, his kid quickly reverses that move. You can Those never, sign, ever uh, take the oh, and a close kid line. for granted. Also, this, the only thing that matters in this business are results. Any way you probably misses on the matter. boot. Oh, and deflects from that kid's flying. And another one. Just can't get the big man down. Kid sets up for another one and a miss again. This Harley is just hurt the boy. Did you hear that? The blood a big kick. audience here in Harden. Big kick by Harley to Kid's midsection. Right, Kid's just trying Send to him off the rope. And oh, and a big clothesline by Harley. It's a pretty one-sided match here, Disco. Well, be pretty one-sided too. If he just he wrestled right the previous now. match. Hey, he he was he he was talking the smack earlier. He said he can handle it. Wasn't worried about it. So he gets flung into the corner. Oh, and a bulldog by Harley. Just wait till he gets his second win. Mm -hmm. Harley off, ready off the top rope. 
Some elevation in the clothesline. That could be it for Trip Night Kid. Big right. Sorry, big left. The face in the midsection. I don't think Crib Night Kid knows where he is at this point. It might be best if this match just ended now. I think you're right. Although I do love seeing the boy get punished. Well, you're such a bloodthirsty man. I just, I, I don't appreciate, you know, his, his juvenile antics. Oh, and a big boot by Harley. You got something on your nose there, Johnny. What's that? May I ask, Disco? Huh? Huh? It's like a big steam call. South Dakota. Uh-huh. Harley said, up for the ride, and a big slam. Flavored horse malarkey. I think that is going to do it. The limp kid is not getting up. The limp kid. You really know how to kick a man when he's down. Hey, I've got a wound. You want to pour some freaking salt on it? Hey, what's up with that temper there, Disco? Getting a little too hot in here for you? Your boy's losing at a rapid speed, you know why? It's hardly made quick, short work of that boy. Oh, look at that blatantly, this. and for no reason, with a choke slam. That's this is a big choke slam. Over. Oh, gee, that's competitive. Get the stretcher. After the match, Harley Harley's going to go hunt deer with a submachine gun. Brandon better look out. Harley is in town. Just stop. Mm -hmm. Our next matchup can be a tag team match. Number one contender, Disco. The new breed, John Caesar and Devon Day against Neil. And a special tag team partner for this show. Yes, yeah. indeed. Apparently the, uh, the commissioner saw it fit to uh, pit family against family. So to, so to speak. Oh, I don't think, uh, as I talked to Brandon earlier, I don't think there's going to be any problem, as you'll see here in a few minutes, uh -huh. with this match going down. As out to the ring come Nasty Neal and Brandon Walker. Kid Sinister, who was initially signed to be Neal's partner in this number one contenders match, had some delays from the airplane. So. Couldn't be here on at, at tonight's show, so Brandon Walker graciously agreed to take his place in this match, being the consummate competitor that he is. I think Brandon Walker saw an opportunity to get his hands on another tag team belt. Backstage again with Brandon Walker and Nasty Neal, and guys, it looks like once again the powers that be are out to screw you because you're facing members of your own family, Devon Day and John Caesar. What's just, up with that? They're just trying to start trouble. They think they can break the family apart if they put the belts on the line. They give the number one contenders a shot in two weeks for the titles. They put Nasty Neal, Brandon Walker versus the new breed. Winner gets a shot at the titles. They think they can stir up trouble and break up the family, it ain't going to happen. We're athletes and we're going to compete fair and straight down the middle because we all have respect for each other. That's what we're going to do. Do you think you can go at it without causing any hard feelings or does that even matter in this match? We're professionals. You take a look at this, you take a look at Neil, and you know the new breed. We're professionals. We know how to wrestle. We go by the rules. We give these people out there in Hardin, Kentucky and old school wrestling people to cheer for and be proud of and that's what we're going to do wrestle right down the middle ladies and gentlemen the face of professional wrestling back to live action uh -huh. i don't think he's ever wrestled straight down the middle what are you talking career. about this man is the epitome of class and dignity and you just are seem intent on running his name into the mud I don't he's understand. the epitome of something and class and dignity aren't and as uh, always playing up file. to his many adoring fans mm -hmm. As Neil gets a, a nice fan fan welcome here at uh, Harden Old School Wrestling. Neil's really come on to the fans here as we look at the pretty boys. And this match is too New close breed. to call. New Breed's a fabulous tag team. 
Devon Day, John Caesar. They've been working together for quite a while now. I'll tell you the truth, it, it could it could it could matter less who wins this match because the winner would have to face Southern Pride next next show. I'm backstage, Johnny R with Superstar Devon Day and John Caesar, members of the New Breed. Tonight you have a number one contenders match with Brandon Walker and Nasty Neal for a shot at the heavyweight belts on the next show. Do you have any, any problem tonight going against the boss man of the family? No, there's no problem. There's no problem with the family. You understand? You, Johnny R., and Bad Boy Phillips are trying to cause problems in the family and break us up, you understand? I'm not. But I will sue you, Bad Boy Phillips, and take this company for everything it's got. I am so dis... You stay out of our business, okay. or you're going to find yourself waking up one morning with a broken neck. And as for Phillips, yours is coming. And that's all y'all are getting from us tonight. Back to live action. I really don't like interviewing those guys, Disco. You should I, know your role when you're around John Caesar and Devon Day. Some people just never know when to shut up. Well, if, if you hadn't uh, conveniently been uh, in the restroom uh, when it was time to interview them, uh, perhaps you know I wouldn't have been manhandled in such an undignified manner. I don't know what you're talking about. I thought you'd be honored to have a chance to interview the new breed. Well, let me tell you, next, next show, you, the honor is all you. Because I can tell you one thing. It's not going to matter who wins this match tonight. Southern Pride, next next show, you got it in the bag, especially after last week's table, ladders, and chairs match. I'm surprised Southern Pride's alive after last week's tables, ladders, and chairs match. I think it's, it's odd that the only member of that match that could even make it here tonight was Nasty Neal. Let's tell you how tough he is. Because the other three members aren't even here tonight. Well, I, I, I tell you why that is, because Southern Pride had such an easy time with Sinister and Neil that they, uh, they've they just been relaxing and took a nice vacation. Uh, are they on a private lake somewhere with Jack Dom and all your other special friends? Actually, they are. And after the show, uh, there's there's a big party over there, which you can't come to. Oh, but, God, I'm going to go home and slip my wrist. Uh, well, I hope not, but you still can't come to the party. <laughs> I think I'll somehow manage tonight. I'll take, a, I'll take a I'll take a camera party. and 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 I'll, I'll get some footage of it so you can watch all yeah, about. Take it. a camera and you'll never run for office again. Mm -hmm. As this match gets underway with John Caesar and Neil in the ring. Yeah, this match is too close to call. I really have no idea. So many fine. A quick takedown by Neil. John Caesar quickly up. Neil duck under clothesline. Oh, and a reversal by Caesar. Neil not sure what to do here. Try and get connect with the elbow. Connects with the elbow in a reversal. Holding on to that arm. Caesar with nowhere to go. Oh, but quickly reverses it. Excellent display by both athletes. Fine, fine technical wrestling. Oh, and a takedown by Neil. Learn to respect this boy. It is true, though. Neil does not get much respect from the members and the family. And, you know, I, I do find that, that, that wrong. They seem to treat him as the runt of the group. He, he is kind of the runt of the litter. But, uh, I think he's, he's proved himself you know, very well here at Old School Wrestling. Uh, worked, 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 the way, worked the way up. Neil's a gritty, this, gutty performer. The submission move on John Caesar proves see, he can wrestle. Oh, Neil can wrestle tag on Brandon, anybody, but um, Brandon come in. Having Brandon and Walker as your tag side. team partner is going to elevate anybody's game. Uh, I think that's one of the few times we agree is Brandon taking, making quick work of John Caesar and quick two count. These are two of the finest athletes in old school wrestling. Currently Another tag the on by Neil. Working on that side of Caesar. Isolating him away from Devon. Look at the power of John Caesar making his way over to Devon, lifting Neil up. Is Brandon and the tag, and in comes Devon. Oh, and the ref didn't see the tag, and of course Brandon in on the interference. Once again, Put, putting John in the corner. Once again, superior athletes getting screwed. John Caesar taking the. The worst of the opening moments of this match. Finding some life. Oh, and a backdrop on Brandon. 
The son of his own medicine. Not going to find any help in Devon's corner. Devon with the, the forearm. And in, in comes Neil with the interference. Brandon quickly back in control of John Caesar. Nice small package by Brandon. Two count. Brandon quickly back in control. Putting Caesar in the rack. And both athletes fight for control here. This number one contenders match. Kind of silent over there, Disco. I don't, I don't know who to root for. These are, these are two of my favorite wrestlers and two of my favorite tag teams in general in old school wrestling. I'm just sitting back in awe of the fine technical wrestling. Well, I, I tell you who you, you could root for. Who could I root for? You could root for Southern Pride, as as I said before, who it doesn't matter who wins this match. Whenever you wake up from this deluded dream that you seem to be calling a life, let me know. Sure. The Southern Pride's going to be a slow, painful end to at the tag hands? team titles. At, who, at whose hands? To whichever of these fine, fine tag teams. Can't, ri this can't match. ride the fence there, Disco. You're, you're going you're to have to root for one or, or the other. Okay, fine. Uh, New Breed will win this match because they have been together as a tag team longer. Because Brandon has Long, not worked with say, say, some, say something about your, 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 your prince, your, your king of the family. Hmm? 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 Brandon Walker will Afraid fight of... valiantly. Will fight valiantly. But I'm just saying. Where's the shovel? Where's the shovel? The shovel. It's might deep in here. Jeez. As Devon quickly worked on the leg of Neil. <laughs> Superstar Devon Day. One of the most exciting performers in old school wrestling. He, 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 is, he is quite the exciting performer. We'll say this. Just slammed in the mat by Devon. I mean, doesn't he just exude star appeal? Doesn't it make I, you feel good just being around Devon? Not particularly. Of course, you have no taste for greatness at all, Johnny. I have a taste for morals, values, everything wholesome in America. Unlike this family business, nothing but cheaters and, and scoundrels. And Caesar quickly puts Neil into a... Headlock. I could leave after work with you. <laughs> you have someone else in mind that, that would be better suited to, you know, counteract your obvious uh, your your obvious bias. My obvious a nice bias. clothesline by Neil on. Bobby, you're you were the one screaming for Diver uh, Kryptonite Kid's blood in the last I, match. I recall no screaming of blood. I was just stating the facts that it was obvious that the match was was, was mismatched. As Caesar goes for the cover on Neil, it was just that. I think you just want to see people in pain. <laughs> I just want to see a good. You're a clean sadist, John. You are. I, I am no sadist, Mr. Disco. I, I can assure you of that. Tommy Disco's all about good times. Oh. Johnny R is apparently about pain and suffering. Well, whatever good times you're having, I don't want any. Quick slam by Caesar in a two count. You would be able to handle deal. my good times, I'll mm -hmm. tell you that right I'd now. love to see you on the dance floor. I bet you just work it, don't you? I've you got, and, you I've and Brandon get out there? And just, <laughs> just I tell you, I'm a good dancer, but I don't think I'm quite in Brandon's category. <laughs> in that, I do believe we agree. And there's not a finer, finer example of oh, dancing than Brandon Walker as Neil gets slammed to the mat. And covered by Superstar. Brandon Quick with the interference. It's a tag team match, Brandon. You do it all the time. See, he, he so so easily forgets. So easily forgets how, how he cheats, and then he blames other people not cheating. Cheats. As Devon setting up for the big, his patented frog splash. Not a prettier frog splash in old school. And look at that. Another interference the consummate tag team professional, that Brandon Walker. That, that could have been the match there, the number one contenders match. I hope you appreciate the greatness that you see every time Brandon Walker's No, but I'm sure you're going to tell me all about it, aren't you? Some people. What some people? All people. Except hoodlums and big body slam. 
by Devon and, and John Caesar. Once again, Brandon ripping off Caesar. Oh, oh, and look at Caesar. Look at Caesar. What? Would you not be upset if every time you were near pinfall? I just think that if the new breed is going to fulfill my prophecy, they better concentrate on the match and not extraneous activities. Extraneous activities. Neil's looking a little weak here as the match wears on. Well, Neil's taking a lot in the Neil of punishment in this match. Most of the punishment, as obviously Brandon's managed to keep himself out of the match for most of it, in true fashion, as a clothesline on Neil. Neil quick back up with the shots to the ribs on Caesar. Could Neil have some life? An eye poke by Neil. Oh, and a nice DDT. That came out Both of athletes on the mat. A count by Jeff the ref again. You see Kalo edging on his team. That could be a little lesson. He Looked like he was Brandon about to uh, jump in. I don't know what you're talking there. about. Looks like he's casually observing the match. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Casually observing his... Oh, my. What is that? Brandon Owen. Oh, nice part of the master plan. As the family is united, as always, Brandon churning on his his partner, Neil setting him up for the big splash by Devon. As the family churn on their own, talk about what I say. Oh, and here comes Harley to the rescue. Once again, Harley Davidson, where he has no business good. at all, butting his head. No, but butting his head. That was three on four on one there. That was a little personal matter they were trying to tend to in the room. That was a bit unnecessary after the match. As oh, but it's okay. It's okay when Harley Davis is beating Dynamite Kryptonite Kid to a pulp by himself. Yes, four people doing it to one person is 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 not is is, is completely uncalled for. Your favorite color is plaid, isn't it? Well, I do look good in it, but no, it's not my my favorite color. Why? Don't, don't, you can't don't, make up your mind about anything. Don't 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 avoid the subject that it is it is it is time for Neil to join the side of the good. As Harley throws him out a Oh yeah. Biker glove. Welcome to the to the real family, the family that loves you, Neil. Is Neil offering support. Alright. I don't think I'm just Looks like the family gonna got go a member. cry into a hanker just now. Looks like the oh, how touching. family got a member shorter there. Family didn't need Nasty Neil. I think that last match displayed exactly what they thought of him. Mm -hmm. As we get ready for our next match, was going to be Von Keller. You won't find a more devastating wrestling machine anywhere. I will say this much: Von he has Keller. been tearing up at least uh, Tony Rage. Thunders. He has been tearing him up for the last few weeks here at Old School Wrestling. Von Keller, all the way from Germany to show people here in Hard and how it's done in the homeland. Well, I'm I'm glad glad he's able to make it. You know, I I think that I, I've heard that I, I I spoke with Tony earlier, and apparently he's gone back home, gone to the roots to find out who he is, so he can. He can pull from within and topple this example of everything that is bad in the world. This narcissistic, shallow beef of a man that just disgusts me. If you were a chiseled war machine like Von Keller, you'd be a little arrogant too. And what Because war, you're a plaid-wearing wallflower, daisy-smelling hippie. You don't feel this way, and that's not my problem. Listen, the great one's going to speak now. Well, I'll be quiet then. Cute little army. Loves his country. Nothing wrong with loving your country. Someone take the mic away from this fool. What? Don't worry about the bus, son. I'm going to take you to school. 
<laughs> and he's a comedian. Did he bring his bus? Is that, is that what I'm to understand? Did we get ready for Tony Rage's entrance? Ron Keller. I don't, I don't think he has one friend here at Old School Wrestling. I don't, I'm not Von sure Ron Keller has many around. friends. He's a consummate gentleman outside. Oh, yes. I've seen him dining with Brandon Walker and the family occasionally. As here comes a true hero. Tony Rage better hope and Tony pray Rage that he brought his A game tonight. What's he doing? He's well, well, apparently that's the beauty. smartest thing he's done all night. He's figured he can't win. Surely he didn't. No, Tony. Tony couldn't do that. He had some brains up there after all. What's this? The boss. Oh, coming out with the American flag. Naysayers, be aware. I assume we call him USA Tony Rage. I think is a, is a more befitting name for our true American hero here in this battle of superpower giants. Backstage again with Southern Thunder Tony Rage in his new outfit this evening. Looking good. Looking like so, good. Like so. Tonight you go against Vaughn Keller for the third time. The last two matches haven't been too much on your favor. What do you expect to happen tonight when you when you get in the ring for this third time? Well, you know, you're exactly right. Those last two matches, they didn't go quite according to plan. I come out on the short end of the stick, but I've been back home and I've been training. I've been pitching hay bales. I've been working out like I've never worked out before, and I'm ready for him. You're ready for him? I'm now? ready for him. Well, let's see if the back to the roots thing gets it for uh, Southern Rage. Bye-bye. Okay. Von Keller spouting out more threats, idle threats to Not a threat. Tony Rage. Mm-hmm. I think that uh, Tony Rage has brought a little something special from back home for Von Keller. He I better hope so. I think he's, he's going to show him the way to the deportation station. I don't know yeah, what you're talking me. about. Von Keller's here legally in the country. Yeah, I don't think uh, there's a green card in his wallet. There's some guys around here earlier asking about him. You know, I don't know what you're talking about. Obviously, if you're out to lunch with the family. The wrong this match gets underway. Lunch between two friends. gentlemen square each other up. Von Keller missing with the kick, just work hammering down way. on Tony Rage, tossing him off the rope. In reversal. A nice backdrop by Tony Rage. And Von Keller quickly out of the ring. I think Von Keller is uh, not prepared for the new and improved he's Tony Rage. Grouping, channeling his Looks energy. like he's leaving. No. Uh huh. Maybe he wanted to change his theme music too. The, the count starts out with Jeff the ref. You're not in Germany, buddy. You're in Harden. Tony is not is showing his his obvious superiority by staying in the ring, not not sinking to Von Keller's level. Give me that look. Well, Von Keller is about to take out the trash. I think Tony Rage is about to get his beef on, if I if I could use a cow hand term. Oh, when you could, and you did. Thank you. I'm glad you noticed that. So Tony puts Von Keller in the armbar. Working on that shoulder. A little different, different atmosphere than the last couple matches between these two. Uh, the last oh, and an eye poke by Von Keller. Went about like quickly this working on the arm of Tony. turning the tables on Tony here. Von Keller, the superior. Oh, and a reversal by Tony. Another reversal by Von Keller. And take down by Von Keller. And more humiliation. And slap him back. I just can't believe that. Where's the sportsmanship? I see all kinds of sportsmanship. I see a great athlete engaging in great technical wrestling. Oh, and what was that at the end? The, the, the smacks the back of the head. It was kind of like he was waking him up. No, sure he waking him up. As Tony quickly gets the upper hand here, Von Keller, Von Keller missing with the elbows, working Tony in the corner. 
Slam to the mat. Always time to pose. Von Keller has. Work in the crowd. The crowd has no appreciation for Von Keller's skills. They have no appreciation for his 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 lack of showmanship and sportsmanship. I see all kinds of showmanship and sportsmanship. Uh, I see some narcissism there. The lockup. Von Keller in control. Nice takedown, Von Keller. Humiliating Tony once again, unnecessarily in the ring, in front of his friends and his family. The object of this match is not to make friends. Michael can be a submission wrestler. What you gonna do now, huh? I can't believe this. Ref. Tony Ray should just give up and save himself the pain. Von Keller is an excellent technical wrestler, but then he adds in that the extra the kick. He's also a gourmet chef. Tony's I bet you didn't know that. Gourmet chef of what? Oh, and I don't think that's going to work this time. That's a movie Von brought Keller. from Germany. Uh huh. It's called Bridge it's with Rope. Illegal over there, I take it. Of Unlike course. here, old school wrestling where that's not legal. Have you ever had you a good better. schnitzel, Johnny? Take down by Von Keller. Von Keller setting him up for another the submission very move. Technical submission holds by Von Keller. But we see some actual wrestling here. Actual wrestling. See, in a, in a toe to toe fight, but it's obvious that Von Keller couldn't handle Tony. This is wrestling in its purest form. In the days of Sparta. And Athens. Hey, let me know when you wake up from your dream world there, Tony. Or Tommy. What's your first name, Disco? Tony. 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 You Tony think my name's Disco? Tony Disco? Sorry. Tommy. Okay, Jerry. Hey. <laughs> that that was that was uncalled for. Is Tony getting ready for the flip and takes him down with the pin? On the ropes. Gonna have to break that one up. You gotta get up pretty early in the morning to beat Von Keller. I'm sure they're uh, Tommy Lombada. I think that'd be a better name for you. Tommy Cha Cha. I'm not gonna dignify that. Von Keller off the second turnbuckle. The ref with a two count. It's Tony kick out. Looks like Von Keller's getting a little winded there. Von Keller is just Maybe saving his energy. Oh, for the posing? Saving his energy for the posing? He's an all around performer. He performs in the ring, he interacts with the crowd. Pose once again. Oh, and a big miss. Right on to Von Keller's back. It's Tony using the brain. It's a novel concept for him, isn't it? And a block and a right. Another right by Tony. And another right by Tony. Setting Von Keller up for the ride. A big clothesline by Tony Rage. Where's your German Thunder now with another clothesline? German Thunder is formulating the master plan for the end of this elbow to the cranium and a cover by Tony Rage. And a two count. So he's lulled Tony Rage uh, into thinking the match is at hand. Ah. When he least expects it, that's when he's going to strike. And a kick. Oh, and a DDT on Tony. See? It was all part of the master plan. Von Keller signaling this match is over. It I think he may be a little too quick for that judgment. And another slow count. I'm sorry if they all can't be half second counts, but you know the rules do state one second per, you know, per count. Maybe in your diluted fantasy world, seconds would go a lot faster. Oh, and it, and is this really necessary? Once again, Von Keller just ripping the shirt off Thunder, coming in with a clothesline. Von Keller is about to take him behind the woodshed. He's going to take him to school. Oh, and a kick on Tony. By Tony. A clothesline on Von Keller. Tony setting him up for the big elbow drop. That could be all he's done. One. And a two count. Von Keller with an O oh, and another elbow. Another two count. 
I don't think Tony is going to go without a fight this time as Von Keller breaks up. Works on with the rights and off the ropes. Oh! Close line. Doesn't take him down. That does. Both the wrestlers to the mat. It's like Von Keller. This could be it, too. Oh. Oh, please. Oh, please what? He's obviously conserving his energy. For what? The To take more punishment? Oh, no. Oh. It's a nice little small package. That's something he learned in Germany. Oh, is it? On the Carney circuit. Uh-huh, and a yeah. kick to the gut. He went out there, too. Oh, and a, and a nice stunner. See, when you wrestle midgets, it forces you to learn new and more varied forms of submission because they're so small. Beating up on little people, that's how he gets his kicks, eh? It's what a you... fine, upstanding uh, you know, human rights advocate. Obviously, has that blatant, just unnecessary hit About on Jeff. About time somebody taught Jeff the ref to count one, two, three. I hope they pay you a lot in your bonus check to, to speak such filth and lies. I'm living large. Uh-huh. Yeah, how's that book deal I heard you were working on coming? Oh, it's great. It? Oh, and a reversal of fortune. A blatant As cheat Tony. by Tony Rage. Kicking the... the oh, I can't believe ring. this. What a travesty. Two, three. Oh, no, no. no. Oh, no. And Tony Southern Rage is your winner. Well, I hope you're Born proud of yourself. In the USA. Yeah, sing it. Sing it. Oh boy! Born now bad boys out. It's just a big old love fest and out Neil here. And Harley. Try to suppress yourself. Uh huh. Oh, Drago's Born out too. In the USA, I was. Born in the USA, I was. Don't quit your day job. This is my day job. Oh yeah. We all can't be uh, disco instructors like you, as <laughs> Jeff. Uh, Hurriedly tries to get Von Keller out of his ring. So the next match between John Deere, the mystery man, and versus BBP. I think we all know who that mystery man is going to be tonight. I have no idea what you're talking uh -huh. about. Uh-huh. I think uh, maybe seeing yet another appearance by Brandon Walker with Von Keller and a giant ride on Jeff the Ref. Uncalled for. The match is over. I just think Von Keller, is, oh, Von oh, Keller oh. didn't think the crowd got to see enough of his wonderful Spinning technical kick. wrestling. So he's kind enough now to show them a few more moves after the match, even after he was grossly cheated after a blatant cheat by Tony Rage by using a chair. Oh, the chair just happened to materialize in the middle of the ring. It had nothing to do with Von Keller bringing it up. I don't know what you're talking about. Of course, you never know what I'm talking about. Let me guess, that was, you, 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 you weren't watching that part of the match. I mm -hmm. think I dropped my gum. Let me get ready for... John Deere, accompanied by we got John Deere, accompanied by Big Daddy, once again, coming out to the ring. John Deere, another new member of Old School Wrestling and the family. John Deere, a promising young wrestler. Uh -huh. Looks like Brandon may have already got his meat hooks into him. Uh, John Deere's no Teaching fool. Teaching him the wrong way to do things. He's got John Deere, Big Daddy J, a match tonight against Bad Boy Phillips. And uh, I hear rumor there's a mystery man that may be making an appearance. You got anything to say about that? There's no mystery about it. I, any man with me can take out Bad Boy anytime, anywhere. That's what I promised tonight. Well, you know, we had a little problem finding somebody that would want to go up against the Bad Boy. Because he is the baddest man in Harden. But see, I went outside of Harden, and I got a big surprise for him, Pally. Yeah. So, I'm ready for him. We'll all find out who that is later tonight. Back to live action. I think we all know who that's going to be. I don't know what Disco. you're talking about. It'll be a pleasant like Brandon surprise. Brandon Walker is going to be out here in just a second. And would that be a bad thing? Would that be a bad thing if Brandon Walker was out again? Yes, actually it would. I think, uh, you know, some, some other ex more experienced... No, no, I shouldn't say that. Brandon is a, 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 a very experienced wrestler, but I think uh, 
more respectable wrestler. More respect? How much more respectable can you be than the Thunderbolt? Uh-huh. What's this theme music? Whose spot is this? Could I have been wrong? Could it not be Brandon Walker? My lips are sealed. <laughs> of course it is. And he's going to grace us with another dance. I do appreciate that. It's always kind of uh, Brandon to come out and dance for us. Just getting in the rain. The crowd wants to see the all-around entertainment talents of Brandon Walker. I want to see him get in the ring and get the beat down that BBP is going to bestow upon him yet again this week. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you missed that beat down last week that, that, that BBP so only no lost because down. Harley Davidson made his appearance in old school wrestling last week. I tell you what, I can't I can't wait for Harley Davidson and and Jack Diamond to be in, in OSW together once he gets back from vacation to prove to you that they are two different people. Boy, and, and I then can't they're wait. gonna tear up and I can't wait regulate. till Captain Kirk and William Shatner go to tea together too. That'll be great. Enough with your jokes. Your blatant sarcasm. As here comes the man, the myth, the legend. B B P. Try to stay in your seat. Aye, aye. It's, it's a hard thing to do when, when a man with such electrifying ability enters the arena. A true gentleman. And no shaking hurry to get all, to the ring, obviously. Shaking all of his fans. Appreciative of every single one of them and all of their support because he, he would not be where he is right now if he did not have them. Something the family may may want to check in on. You got to have the fans. The fans make the man. The family has thousands and thousands of adoring fans in Harley. Oh, as you can hear every time they enter the arena. The only thing I hear when they enter the arena are boo. Johnny R backstage at Old School Wrestling with Bad Boy Phillips and Mr. Dotson. Last show, John Deere, a new character here at OSW, came out and had some uh, pretty choice words for both of you at the end of his match that he lost against you, Bad Boy Phillips. Nida. A kind of return match with a mystery man. Any idea who the mystery man would be, or is it really going to matter? It doesn't matter. What young punk John Deere lacks is respect. He got respect last time because I slapped it into him. He shows us no respect tonight, I'll slap it into him again. As far as the mystery man, it doesn't matter. doesn't matter. Mr. Dawson, any thoughts tonight on uh... Oh, there, He could be as mysterious as he wants to be. Bad boy can handle him. Bad boy can, Bad boy can take anything that Big Daddy brings out with him. All right. Well, we're about to find out right here at live action. It's obviously, BBP is not scared of Mystery Man or Brandon Walker. Once again, show him this week that he is bad to the bone. Oh, there's there's no doubt that Bad Boy Phillips is, is one tough SOB. Mm -hmm. But Brandon think, Walker's just a little bit tougher. Yeah, but I think uh, John Deere may be a hindrance. That's right, where is the ref? Jeff got hurt after Von Keller's vicious attack after the match. Maybe they'll ask me to ref. <laughs> Gee, we can only hope. Nasty Neil! Talk How about, about this? Deck. How about this oh, for a turn of events? Geez. Nasty Neil coming out to be the ref. Looks like that uh, attack on him earlier that Brandon stays may have not been the wisest thing for him. I can't believe this. I think it. Believe it, baby, because it's here. How can Nasty the vindication Neil possibly, is coming? possibly be expected to be objective in this match? Hey, hey, hey. Do you remember? Yes, he does, BBP. Yes, he does. Brandon not wanting to give away his belt, so Neil's going to take it from him. Look at that. Where's your champion now, backing down from BBP? My champion is not backing down uh -huh. from anybody. 
Brain is just trying to get a good clean match in. Mm -hmm. This match gets underway and the bell rings. What's Brandon complaining about now? Probably more he, cheating on the part of If he of doesn't PvP. have any weapons, if he is an honest and upstanding wrestler and never kowtow to such devious actions like the family. Hey, Brandon you don't get Walker. to the top of any industry without breaking a few hearts, Johnny. Mm -hmm. Slow and steady wins the race, Mr. Disco. Hey, don't, don't start talking to the ref. I think this ref would be more inclined to, uh, to show him where he can go. Unlike uh, if Jeff Neil knows here. what's good for him, he'll be a fair and square ref. In this handicap match, he's nasty Neil, the referee, member of the good side. The good side. What are you talking about? I'm talking about good versus evil, and how evil always wins. No, I mean... Yeah, exactly. That's no, the first no. thing you said this tonight. I agree no, with you. I mean, evil, evil doesn't win. I'm sorry. That was wrong. There's Brandon complaining about things that BBP has no part of, like cheating and pulling on his uh, Better call your shrink. Tights. I think the brainwashing starting to wear off. Uh-huh. Come on, Goldilocks. Quit your crying. He's not crying. He's trying to limber up before the match, see? Um... Brandon, quick control of this match. Taking DVP behind. DVP quickly reverses. Putting Brandon some of his own medicine. Oh, and a slam by Brandon on BBP. Brandon works on BBP's neck, taking him to the mat. Oh, but a reversal on by BBP on Brandon, working on that arm. How's that mat taste there, uh, Brandon? You can hear the agonizing screams from Brandon. I don't know if his shoulder's going to take much more of this. This is his third match of the night, Johnny. And an obvious display of narcissism showing us that he can or wants to come out may not have been in his best interest as I think the weakness that uh, three matches may have caused is going to show up here uh, at this match. I'll take Brandon Walker at 80% over anyone else at 100. Mm -hmm. Nice hip toss by BBP. And then poking the eye by Brandon. I don't know what you're talking about. And knee to the groin. Oh, and a slam. You tell him, Neil. Just keep this match fair. Something Brandon doesn't know anything about. I just really hope that John Deere takes notice of this. Oh, and BBP getting caught on the ropes. Pulling out that knee. He could have injured himself there, Disco. Yeah, he definitely could have. Uh, Not that you would care. No, I don't want to see anyone get hurt. Uh huh. I just want to see a good, clean wrestling match. Well then, I think you're watching the wrong, the wrong one. BP sends Brandon flying into the steel. Oh yeah, you're right. I am because once again, Bad Boy goes to a foreign object. What foreign object? That's that's a legal part of the ring. Oh it surrounds, my goodness! It, it keeps the audience members away. It's obvious. It's just it's it's an extension of the ring. It's like using the ropes. So BVP quickly gets Brandon back into the ring. You just make this up as you go along, don't you? <laughs> make what up? They're, I have the book right here of the rules. Would you like to read it? Maybe brush up on it. Maybe you need to read it. The so BVP is another poke in the eyes by Brandon. That's the only way he's gotten anything done here is by cheating and slinging him into the corner. And a tag on Deer. Deer goes to work on BBP. Brandon showing him the art of the double team. Sending him off into the ropes. Oh, and a double elbow. Sending BBP to the mat. Now John Deere, he's John got a lot Deere to learn working. in old school wrestling. But he's Going straight talented, for the choke. Talented young wrestler. He's about to teach. Sure he learned uh, that straight from Brandon. He's about to teach bad boy that he's learned his lessons well. John Deere onto the top turnbuckle quick. And a slam into BBP flying off that turnbuckle. Not too bad for the new guy. BBP working him into the corner. <laughs> An obvious, of course, interference by Brandon. A big chop by BBP. Another chop by BBP. 
think this rookie is going to find out once again that old school wrestling may not be the place for him. Another chop by BBP. I bet they heard those in Murray. Yeah, they may well have. I bet that would hurt. And BBP sitting. Oh, the fans want one more big chop. Oh! Or if the fans now to drop off up. a cliff, he'd do that too, wouldn't he? With the body slam. And BBP on his way to victory. Oh, but the interference by Brandon. Interference. That would have been long over had Brandon not interfered once again. And now Brandon in with a tag and a boot to the gut. And BVP up. Oh, for the neck breaker. BVP may, may be a little dazed there. Some Neil. With and only a two count. It must just be the ref uniform. Every count's been slowed down. Another two count. I think Neil may be tired after that vicious attack that happened on him earlier by the members of the family. So Brandon obviously can't get any cheating by Neil, who's on to his game. After having been trained by him, knows exactly what to look for. And yeah, Neil's very familiar with uh -huh. how to cheat. Brandon with the knee down on BVP's neck. Which Neil is not going to fall for. I hate to break it to you. As John Deere tries to start the the crowd, who's obviously not his favorite. And a flying kick by BVP. And Brandon put BB, BVP in the... Brandon with a submission move on BVP. Working that shoulder and that back. This might be the now match right here. Teaching John Deere how to cheat, helping him pull him onto the ropes. That's just teamwork. John Deere can't even cheat right. Yeah, and he won't be having any of that. Neil should be watching Bad Boy, so he'll know when he submits. Oh, and a slam by Bad Boy. Looking for the elbow, but no, Brandon too quick up on his feet. Brandon has been around old school wrestling for a while. He's not really new to the game. He's working on BP and setting him up for the clothesline. BP could be a little winded after that abdominal stretch. It's John Deere with the tag. Now the double team once again. Oh! That's he's going to feel that in the morning. Got to not feel good. Uh, he's going to feel that in the morning. It's John Deere with a headlock on BVP. And he'll be sure that fairness happens in this match above all. It's John Deere once again with the headlock on BVP. Putting him in the corner. Now rubbing him on that rope. This is great. What a great match. Now Brandon back in. Kiss, kick to the gut on BBP. BBP getting ready for the ride. Owen reverses it. Brandon over the top rope and onto the floor. It's BBP with a spring of life in him. Now jumping down with a kick to the gut. Down on Brandon. Looks like BBP may have... Uh, Playing a wounded there, slamming Brandon right into that wall. Looks like the ties may be turning for your golden boy there, Disco. I don't know what you're talking about. Throwing him into the ring, BVP well in hand of the match now. Taking Brandon off the rope. But Brandon having none of that. Going to a nice submission move. Interference here. Oh, by Harley Davidson coming out of the ring, hunting for Brandon. Once again, Bad Boy Phillips unable to defeat Brandon, Brandon Walker. Has to have help to come to the ring. And notice how Brandon quickly left the building. This match is all oh, another oh, slow count. And John Deere not able to handle BBP. Putting BBP in another headlock. I think this match is going to be short work after Brandon's no longer here to back up uh, John Deere. John Deere trying to return the chop favor by BBP, but BBP isn't having any of that. 
as I think the boy is about to find out. Yeah, I think. Uh, oh, vicious chop! I think John Another Deere's about chop. to learn a painful Another lesson. Another vicious chop. And John Deere in the corner. And BBP to the mat. And I think that may be doing it, ladies and gentlemen. You now BBP's got something else in store, setting him up for the spear. And there it is. BBP with the spear. That is going to be it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's deal with count one, two, three, and that's going to do it. And your winner, winner, I should say just go winner. The person who won, the victor, the, 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 the contest winner. As John Deere gets seen the outside of the ring, Mr. Dotson makes his way into the ring. And another fine, fine evening of old school wrestling, wouldn't you say there? Definitely, uh, some Disco. fine matches tonight. Um, Although uh, it was my displeasure to work with you once again, I'm sure it's always be. distasteful to have to share the we'll same be, oxygen with you, Johnny. We'll be doing it again. Until next time, I'm Johnny R. I'm Tommy Disco. We're out. <laughs>